Hi everyone. In this video, we are trying to create a thermometer using Arduino Uno and DS18B20 temperature sensor. We are trying to or we are going to display the temperature values on a 16 by 2 character LCD. So let's get started with this video. Now the parts needed to create a thermometer using DS18B20 temperature sensor are of course the DS18B20 temperature sensor. Then I'm going to use an Arduino Uno then a 16 by 2 LCD and there are some components with 16 by 2 LCD like the backlight resistor and the contrast control resistor. If you are not sure how to use LCD then you can follow the schematic that we have provided in this video or you can also use the LCD shield that I have used from DF Robot. So it makes it easy to experiment with Arduino using LCDs. Lastly, you are going to need breadboard and some connecting wires to make the connections from the sensors to the Arduino. Now, DS18B20. Now, this sensor is a one wire protocol operated sensor, which is very interesting in its nature because it doesn't give signals on analog pin. It gives all the values digitally, and you can also connect multiple sensors to the same pin because they may have different addresses. And an Arduino or any host microcontroller can scan those sensors one by one. So it allows us to have multiple sensor interfaced on a single line. The accuracy is very good, plus minus 0.5% and the temperature sensing range is also very good. That is minus 55 degrees Celsius to 125 degrees Celsius. So what's the catch with ds one b 20 It is slightly expensive than the other sensors which are available in market. But if you are creating an industrial project, then ds one b 20 is an ideal choice. It comes in multiple forms. It also comes, you know, uh, transistor like TO92 package and the one I'm going to use here is a big probe package which is kind of a waterproof sensor and that makes it interesting to use. I'll show you my camera in a moment. With Arduino what you're going to need is you're going to need this library, the last temperature by few people, the names are written, primarily we'll see Miles Burton but there are some more names added also. So just install this library from the library manager or I'll also show you where to do that in Arduino and then you can jump start with the code. Now lastly, this is the schematic. Uh, sorry, the schematic has been a little bit scrambled by this particular uh, PowerPoint. Let me put that again here. Yeah, so that's the schematic. Now if you look at it in full screen, you may not find it very uh, simply readable but LCD has first pin as ground, second pin VCC, third pin is a contrast control pin which goes to a pot. The other two points of pot should be connected to VCC ground. Then there is a pin called RS, then there is a pin called RW and then there is a pin called Enable. So I'll show all these connections if they are not correctly visible here. The code, the circuit, everything will be available on a blog post and the link to that blog post is given in the description below. Now let's get to my camera setup so that you can see the connections over here. Yeah, this is my setup. So I am using this LCD shield on the top of Arduino Uno and this is the DS18B20 probe that I have. Now I am going to use a lighter as well for giving heat to the sensor so that we can see the temperature changes. And now this is the final code. As I said, what you need to do is go to open Arduino on your system, go to the library manager and search for the last temperature directly. You will find this library. You need to install this only and nothing else. Don't get confused. The code is pretty much straightforward. You include the uh, one wire library, you include the the last temperature library you mentioned that you are connecting your sensor to pin number 2. If any other pin, then that needs to be mentioned over here. Then these are the LCD connections, RS enabled D4, D5, D6, D7. If you are connecting LCD to some other pins, make sure you modify these lines over here. Then what we are doing is, we are going to print the temperature on serial port as well as we are going to print the temperature on LCD. So these are the LCD initialization commands. I'm pretty sure you are familiar with it. If not, lcd.begin will initialize it, lcd.set cursor will set the cursor position. So the first value that we mentioned here is the uh, column number 
and the second value we mention is row number. So column number can be 0 to 15 because it's a 16 column LCD and the row number can be either 0 to 1. So 0, 0.0 is the first home position where I'm printing temp and then we are doing the sensor begin. In the loop, all we are doing is we are printing some values on the LCD like starting up or initializing with the system. Then I am requesting the temperature value. Then serial dot print done. So request temperatures will basically send the commands to get the temperature from sensor. Now the library handles the rest of the things. This temp C value will get the temperature by index. Means 0 means the first sensor that has been connected to the bus. Currently, we don't have any other sensors connected, but if you have multiple sensors connected, then you can have 0, 1 and things like that. Lastly, if the device is connection is successful, means the value read is valid, we are printing it on serial port and then we are printing it on LCD as well. So LCD position 6, I am printing it because previously I have printed temp on 5 positions and then I am also printing 2, 2, 3. This prints a degree celsius character and then printing the c that is for degree celsius display now let me just upload this code onto my system and then let's look at the output so i'm uploading this once the uploading is done i'll open the serial monitor where you can see the uh, values on the serial port as well and then we'll see it on lcd as well so requesting temperature Temperature value is 30.31 as you can see on serial terminal. Here onto my camera, you can see that right over here. Now let me apply some heat to the sensor and then we'll see what it does. Don't apply much, so just do a little bit of it and then see the value of temperature. Now, as you can see, the temperature value is jumping 72, 74, 74.94. And now I removed the heat, so it will slowly start reducing or coming down. This is the pull-up resistor that I have used over here on the small breadboard and this is the sensor. The data line I am just manually connecting to Arduino pin number 2 right over here. Apart from that, the LCD shield does all the connections for LCD. The pins are mentioned into the code as well as onto the blog post which link is also mentioned in the description. Now this is the DS18B20 based thermometer. Thank you for watching this video.